With 12 days left to go uh, in President Trump's term and after he released uh, the video uh, yesterday saying there'll be a peaceful transition of power and, uh, you know, it's Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States uh, in, in very kind of simple video terms, straight terms to the American people. Uh, the Because of the actions that uh, they believe he incited, uh, and it's mostly Democrats who are floating this idea of impeachment, but it's got Republican public support from at least one House member, Adam Kinzinger, and uh, and uh, one U.S. Senator, Ben Sass. I think at this point, I would say it seems very likely, unless, like uh, you were saying, Dad, unless someone like uh, President-elect Joe Biden uh, really don't put do pressure it. on Nancy Pelosi to not take this because of the risk of, one, violence— uh, uh, the risk of uh, further dividing the country, uh, kind of playing into the almost maybe playing into the hands of the other side of the, the, the you just tried to look for any ways constantly to punish President Trump and you try even the last 12 days because you don't like what he said at a speech, uh, which uh, which again. Uh, it won't be 12 days. I mean, if you look at it, though, it would be yeah, the no, earliest I mean, they could do it. They're now. saying is midweek. So you would be talking about, let's say they pass them on next Tuesday or Wednesday. It would be six days left. Yeah, so, I mean, Than, I want to go to Than because obviously the House could impeach, but how would it get to the the uh, Senate in any kind of time where the, there would be a trial, even if it was a shorter yeah. trial? I, I really don't think it can, Jordan, for a couple of reasons, and let's start with the political one, just the logistical reason of when would Leader Schumer theoretically take control of the United States Senate. You've got the two races in Georgia that are now both conceded, but uh, uh, Jordan, they're not certified, and until those new senators can show up in the United States Senate— Certified by January 15th. The, the January 15th is the deadline for counties in Georgia, and the Secretary of State has until January 22nd. Now, that could move quicker. You're absolutely— I would suspect absolutely, it would. You should be prepared I, I like it was. Until they show up with their certificates in the United States Senate, you have a leader, Mitch McConnell. So he's the one that would have to determine when those articles of impeachment arrived, when they would be on the floor of the Senate. Now, I mean, Jay, we, we went through this during the last impeachment trial. There are certain requirements. The Senate has to take them up the next day. But then they, they work through that formal resolution process to govern the rules of debate. Do, do you think that Leader Schumer and Leader McConnell are going to be able to come up with a set of rules with, you know, I don't know, eight, nine, ten days left in the session to govern impeachment quickly? Because I don't. And so until Leader Schumer has control of the Senate, I just do not see the Senate being able to get up and rolling on this uh, quickly. So I think you have to ask the Democrats the question, what are you looking for? Are you looking for an impeachment trial or are you looking to incite more unrest? Well, here's what they're looking for. They're looking to remove the president of the United States. Let's not kid ourselves. They're looking to remove Donald J. Trump yeah, as because president. I'd yes, say, that's I'd, what they're I'd looking for. Where I usually would 100 percent agree with with Dan say, like, there's no way they could come up with rules. Uh, Mitch McConnell's wife resigned from President Trump's cabinet because of what he did, what he did or what she believes he did and caused with his speech. Um, uh, and so she resigned. So there is uh, some again, I'm not saying this is right or wrong. Let's just talk facts here. There are um, Republicans who, especially in the Senate, who believe because of President Trump's actions over the last uh, six weeks or eight weeks since the since the general election cost them the U.S. Senate. Uh, and uh, I, don't, I don't think it's always about that. I think the candidates have to all run their races. And, and uh, in Georgia, um, again, it's really it was it was candidates who were who uh, got beat. But certainly uh, you could say that there was a lot of we weird stuff happening. That call that was released with the secretary of state saying you got to do this or you might face crimes and and and, and I, I just wonder if you get enough upset Republican senators to where things might move quicker. Well and then you look at this, look at the time frame of the Georgia counties. Just to be I honest mean, with people. Yeah, I think you gotta be honest with people. So uh they have to certify by January fifteenth. So technically, which is what day of the week? January fifteenth is a Friday. 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 It's it's next Friday. Next Friday. Today. Today's the 8th, yes. So then the question's going to be, if they certified it on Friday, could they, I'm seeing if, if, if McConnell could be out of leadership, and like you said, that may not matter. Um, they have until the 22nd, but they don't have to go to the 22nd. No, they could do it. The, the state could certify, the Secretary of State, once he receives the certification from the counties on January 15th, could certify that very day or the next day. It could be the 16th, and then they could take their oath the 16th or the 17th, and at that point, uh, Mitch McConnell is no longer the majority leader. 
So that only gives two and a half days. I mean, that that would be then. I, I, that's another point. Then, even if it was on its quickest timeline, a Senate trial, unless again, uh, Mitch McConnell and Schumer, while well, McConnell was in charge, agreed and got this moving. If it had to wait until Schumer was in charge, I don't see how you could set up the trial. Well, well I mean, I, too. I mean, how would he have a defense in the the trial in the Senate? They have to allow the president time to. It can't be one day. I, don't think. I think that would be really not right. But here's the problem: then the president is impeached, and it just hangs. There. And it just hangs there. So there is. I mean, the, the the problem here is if they're trying to. If they here's the problem with the whole thing. Number one, to move it in that space of time to me just seems a bit reckless. Regardless, if you think they, these are impeachable offenses or not, because there's only. 12 days left for the president to serve. So, and they they know they can't get it together until at least next Tuesday. Yeah. So, they're just then you're a week out. So why would you put the country through that when the man's term is over with and you got the ultimate victory, you're gonna, your candidate's going to be the president of the United States? 